So Fear Street Part 3, um, it's here. I'm really tired. I just got back from a camping trip. This is probably going to be a very short review. So let's talk about the things that I liked. I kind of liked the third act in this film with some good action. The 1666 part was cool, going back in time and figuring out what really happened and why Sarah Fear did what she did. It was all very intriguing. There's a reveal in this movie that I didn't see coming and I loved it. I absolutely loved the reveal. I think that's it. I think that's all I really liked about the movie. Um... What was up with the Irish accents? That's just a nitpick. I thought it was absolutely terrible. I know I can't do a good job, but th that was just bad. The one thing that I do not like that movies do, and this one did, is when your agenda is overlapping the story. And what do I mean by that? Well, when you have a story and you have a good story, it makes everything that you're trying to build upon that story make sense. It, it feels organic. And movies like this, where the story is serving the agenda, the story gets forgotten and they try to have the agenda over the story. So that pulls you out of the movie. It pulls you out of it. It makes you forget what you're watching and you're like, oh yeah, this is a movie. And yeah, I know I'm watching a movie, but movies just have this awesome... They, they take you into another world. It's like reading a book. You you are immersed into this world. And with Fear Street, they kind of got me. They almost got me, especially in part two. And then it brought me back down to the same underwhelming um, experience that I had in part one. And that kind of sucks. There wasn't really a lot of scares in this one as well. I wasn't really feeling the thrills as much as I wanted to. And... It just goes into a direction that I didn't really find enjoyable. I wanted to love this. I think I had more expectations and more things on the line that I thought were going to be portrayed on this film. And it went into a direction that I just did not like. So I'm going to give Fear Street Part 3 a 5.5 out of 10. This is somewhat of a disappointing trilogy. I really, really love Part 2. I'm glad we have Part 2. But hey, if you like my review, please don't forget to like and subscribe. And also, please don't forget to be blessed.